Welcome to the Anti Frizz Masterclass, where we go through all of the main reasons that I see people generating frizz when they're styling their wavy or curly hair. My name's Gal, and I help folks get beautiful, healthy, wavy, and curly hair. So let's get into it. If your wavy or curly hair is turning out like frizzy or stringy, there's a really good chance that the way you dry your hair is actually causing that. First off, if you are going to plop your hair, do it after you have added all of your products. You wanna make sure you're adding products to soaking wet hair, otherwise you're gonna create some of that stringiness or frizziness. When you do plop your hair, be careful that you don't disturb the curl pattern too much as you're lowering it into the plop because that disturbance itself can cause frizz. So I've now plopped my hair for 15 minutes after adding all of my products. We can either air dry or diffusing. If you're currently air drying and your hair always turns out frizzy and stringy, it could be because our hair is most prone to creating frizz and stringiness while it's still drying. Since air drying takes a really long time, every time our sweater touches our hair, we touch our hair, we put on a coat, we sit against a chair, we're creating that disturbance that might create frizz. If we skip over to diffusing, it cuts that drying time and that results in less opportunity for that curl pattern to get disrupted and for frizz to get generated. Before you start diffusing, take a look at how your hair is looking. If you have wet frizz before you start diffusing, you're gonna end up with dry frizz. You have a couple of options if you have frizz at this point. Probably the easiest one is to go in with some sort of a brush and do some brush styling. Even if you're not doing anything fancy, just brushing through in super large clumps, scrunching if necessary can help re-clump and get rid of that stringiness. If you don't like to do brush styling, you can always take an Infinity Mister bottle or just a regular spray bottle, mist all over to slightly resaturate your hair, and then use the praying hands method just to smooth. If that straightens all of your curl, go back in and scrunch to restore. A great alternative to plopping that might create a little bit less stringiness or frizz in your hair is to take a microfiber towel and very lightly micro plop. This is going to help get rid of some of that water so that you're not spending five hours diffusing your hair, but it's going to be a lot more gentle than doing a full plop. will create less frizziness and less stringiness. The first technique that is going to really help reduce frizz when you're diffusing is called hover diffusing. You hold the diffuser about 10 centimeters away from your hair and rotate it. You can use a slightly higher heat than you would normally use because you're holding the diffuser about eight to 10 centimeters away. This is gonna mimic like a really light breeze. It shouldn't create too much airflow, which would disturb your curl pattern and create a whole bunch of frizz. Some hair types also like to pixie diffuse. Now, pixie diffusing is not doing this. That is one of the easiest ways to create stringiness and frizz in your hair while you're diffusing. Pixie diffusing is slowly, while the diffuser is turned off, cupping your hair, turning it on once it's in position, and then holding that position for somewhere between 10 and 30 seconds, depending on what you think your hair can tolerate. I like to turn it down to a slightly lower temperature here because it's in closer contact with your hair. Products also matter when it comes to not generating frizz. It can really help to use some sort of a product that offers a little bit of definition and hold if you're struggling with a lot of flyaways and just that lack of definition kind of diffused frizzy look. Typically, you're gonna find that in some mousses and a gel. You don't have to use both together. You can use one or the other or a combination, totally up to you. They're gonna create a bit of a crunchy finish on your hair. Don't worry, when your hair is 100% dry and not sooner, you can scrunch that away either with your bare hands or with a little bit of hair oil. It is important to note though that if you scrunch it away too soon, scrunching a cast early is another one of those things that can create frizziness. 